My name is Zach Hughes. I'm an application engineer with Mayor Benny Citizen, and today we're going to be covering the proper installation of a spindle liner on our 42 millimeter machines. The first thing we're going to do is remove the sheet metal on the left side of the machine. While this is not necessary, it'll gain easier access to the main spindle. After that, we want to remove five of the six cap screws while we leave the top one to hold the rubber seal and the metal plate on. As you can see, I use the top cap screw to hold the rubber seal and the steel plate on. This prevents me from having to realign the rubber seal when reinstalling the plate. We are then going to loosen these two cap screws. They don't actually need to be removed as they are only retaining a split ring. After loosening both cap screws, you can then place the T-handle Allen wrench into the counter bore and tap the back of it to loosen the ring. A trick to be able to unthread the ring a little bit faster is to place the ball end of the T-handle Allen wrench into the chamfer of one of the threaded holes. Then spin counterclockwise as shown. Try to grab the ring with your finger to prevent denting the OD. Then insert the spindle liner into the spindle. Make sure to push until it is fully seated. The next thing we need to do is select the appropriate plastic spindle bushing. They're going to come like this from the factory. You need to select the one that's slightly larger than the spindle liner itself. After selecting the appropriate bushing, you want to place the smaller diameter into the retaining ring first, as shown here. You then want to thread the retaining ring back on the rear side of the spindle, being careful not to cross-thread it. You can then use the ball end of the T-handle Allen wrench to place into the chamfer of one of the threaded holes to assist you threading the ring back on. Place the T-handle Allen wrench and angle it, and slightly tap the back to snug the ring up. Then tighten both cap screws. The purpose of the spindle liner as seen here is to slowly guide the bar up into the spindle liner without slamming the back side of the liner itself. You then want to loosen the cap screw and slide both the steel plate and the rubber gasket back into place, making sure not to pinch the rubber gasket. Then tighten all six cap screws. That concludes our lesson on how to install a spindle liner. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact your local Miano distributor.